Welcome everybody. Today we've got Zodak. A bit of an enigma, an enigma a bit of an enigma in the Masters of the Universe. Because there's no real clear distinction of whether he's a good guy or a bad guy. He's originally he was pegged as an evil warrior, evil cosmic enforcer or something like that. But they never really fleshed out his stories, so it's sort of open to interpretation. And once the cartoon came on, he was sort of shown as not good, not bad, just a guy. Uh, <laughs> sort of, he, he sort of supposed to be neutral, is, but it's sort of, you know, it, like I say, I'm, he looks cool. <laughs> Had a, you know, that, that, I'm not positive this is his gun because the colors are so different in the reds, but I know that the, his gun was this style. Uh, no, no real detail, you know, fur on his back, you know, standard He-Man musculature. Uh, I say, I think, you know, the mask and his, his, uh, armor is pretty cool. But, uh, you know, he, and he's got, he's got, they, one of the note, things they noted that they, people make, that want to make people think he's a bad guy is because he has the, the claw feet rather than feet feet. <laughs> Uh, he's got the the arm, you know, details there. But, you know, like I say, it's just sort of ambiguous in canon as to what he is and how it operates. <laughs> but anyway, I was, I'm confused by him. I don't know how to present something like that to you, but other than, you know, there he is. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. If you're digging what I'm doing, make sure and subscribe. Plenty more to go where this came from, and I'll see you next time.